So we're gonna do some movement prep exercises and drills. Um, you might be wondering why we are doing these uh, movement prep uh, drills. Is because first of all, when we're gonna hit, we don't wanna hit to warm up, we wanna warm up to hit. And secondly, uh, these exercises will uh, kinda attack specific areas um, and also uh, mobilize some areas so, we can, so we're more ready uh, to get going and to hit right away. So the first exercises are glute bridges uh, with pelvic control. So we're gonna start out laying on the ground. Um, our legs up, kind of a 90, 90 degree angle. We're gonna lay down flat on our back. And the key to this is that we're trying to drive these hips up and create the straight line, activating our glutes and our core. And we're gonna hold that for five seconds. Two, five. And then we're gonna go down, and as we go down, we're gonna push with our lower back as hard as we can into the ground for another five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I would say do eight, five seconds hold, and then five seconds pushing down. The second ex exercise is very similar. Well, this time, we're going, it's a single leg uh, glute bridges with uh, holds. Um, so same thing, lying flat, this time one leg up, we're going to push off, same thing, pushing off, holding, uh, keep it, keeping our glutes tight, our core tight, holding for five seconds, same thing, we're going down, try to push down for our lower back, our, our back completely flat, pushing down for five seconds, we're going to do, and then switch, back up, and push down. With that, we're gonna do five, five each leg. So the third exercise is standing uh, thoracic spine circles. All you need for this drill is a bat. We're gonna put it behind our neck. The only thing we're gonna do, the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make as big as circles as we can all the way around. All the way around. On both sides, just to show. Also wanna make sure that we keep a nice athletic possession, uh, position Knees slightly bent, hips a little back, making sure we go all the way around. All right, and make sure you do both sides. Make sure you go to the left and to the right, and eight each. The fourth exercise are called pelvic turns. Again, you're gonna need a bat. You're gonna keep your back up. You're gonna keep your bat over your head. Again, same athletic position. We're gonna to try to turn our pelvic left and right. Left, right. Try and turn it as tightly as possible. Pretend like you're in a in a barrel and you can't you can't bump to the side, so you can't do that. Can't do that. You gotta turn it as tightly as possible, moving your pelvis and your hips. And keeping keeping the bat stable up top. That we're gonna do eight. Eight total and going left and right counts as one rep. So the fifth exercise are called bird dogs. We're gonna go on all fours, making sure our back is nice and flat. And with this drill, we're just gonna lift our opposite limbs. So my right arm goes up and my left leg goes up, making sure we squeeze and use the core. Go down and then switch. Just hold a little bit at the top and come down. And that, that right there is one rep. So we're gonna do eight total. So the next exercise are lateral lunges. We're gonna start up straight up, drop our leg laterally, make sure we're getting into that hip, our knees stay in front, uh, inside of our uh, foot, and keeping our weight in our heels. Pushing up, then go left, same thing, going in the hip, knees stays inside, weight on the heels, pushing up. See our side view? Going there. Uh, making sure, also make sure our knees stay behind of our toes. We don't want our knees to go over. Making sure they're staying behind, weight on the heel, and our butt going back. So those those are lateral lunges. Uh, you do eight reps uh, each leg. So the next exercise are skater jumps. They're very similar to lateral lunges, but more dynamic movement. So we're gonna start on one leg. We're gonna get into our hip, coil, push off, jump, and stick the landing. All right, it's okay if you need a reset. 
but it's very important that you also want to stick this landing. Same thing, boom, try to stick it. Did a bad job there. And try to go as far and as high as we can. Stick it. All right, those are skater jumps. Do six reps on each leg. For the next drill, these are called T-spine turns. You're just gonna need your bat. So we're gonna hold it across our chest. We're gonna get a nice athletic uh, position. And we're simply gonna keep facing forward and we're just gonna turn, turn the bat as far as we can. Going towards our right side and toward, going towards our left side. While we're facing forward. So you're gonna do eight, eight reps each side. The next exercises are called torso stops. Again, you're gonna use your bat or you can use med ball, um, make it a little bit harder. But we're gonna start and uh, get an athletic position. Hold our bat sideways like this. Make sure you have a good grip. And we're simply gonna start rotation, then stop it as quickly as we can. So we're trying to turn as fast as possible and then stop. So it should look something like this. Stop. Other side. Boom. There. So we're trying to turn fast and stop as quickly as possible too. Do five each side. So the next exercise are single leg torso stops. So same, same thing as the regular ones. We're gonna start one leg, make sure a nice uh, athletic position on our singular leg. Same thing, try and turn and stop as fast as possible. Make sure we're going both, both sides. It's a lot more challenging. Uh, do five, five uh, reps on each leg.